we'll start right now with the Vanguard newspaper. The front page of the Vanguard, always busy, always colorful. The screamer there, Tinubu attacks hardship with 500 billion naira palliatives. You have details of that story on page five of the newspaper. However, we'll take a couple of writers. Tells Nigerians I came to help and not to hurt. Uh, saves one trillion naira from subsidy removal in two months. Uh, approves uh, 700, is it 700? 700, 100 billion naira for procurement of 3,000 CNG buses. Uh, the writers just go on. Beneath that, Labour insists on nationwide mass protest from tomorrow, which is Wednesday, the 2nd of August. Details of that story on page 25 of the Vanguard newspaper. Right above the masthead of the Vanguard, uh, you find the, the picture of the Sultan there, uh, the Sultan of the Emir, uh, uh, Sanusi. Cash squeeze, how returns drag down investment in FG savings bond. Sanusi tensions as ex emir Sanusi's portrait reappears in Kano government house. 110 suspects arrested by Fintiri. Uh, relaxes curfew, visits looted warehouses. And it just goes on and on. Several more stories there. All right, from the Vanguard newspaper, we move on to this day. This day newspaper on the front page. Tinubu bemoans state of economy, says after darkness comes glorious dawn. Claims national wealth doled on favorable terms to a handful of people who became filthy rich and then several other riders that you have underneath that. Uh, okay. Nigeria seeks WHO's assistance for emergency deployment against diphtheria. Do we want to do that? All right, let's get to the top. Uh, above the Disney masthead, Labour insists on nationwide protests from tomorrow. Faults Tinubu's ability to control inflation and gasoline prices. And then it says, we are dealing with oil cabals, says Wajabia Miller. All right, and several other line, uh, uh, writers that you have underneath that. Uh, FG to Fallon or peaceful protests. No justification for disrupting and shutting down essential services. Page 36 has more on that particular story, talking about the planned uh, nationwide strike by labor unions in the country tomorrow. So there are several other stories, and do re remember that the phone lines are still open at this time for you to comment on any of the uh, stories that um, you fancy or that catch your interest. Indeed, and away from that paper, we take you to the front page of the Punch newspaper. Also very colorful, subsidy plants, that's the screamer there. Labour insists on protests as Tinubu Oki's 500 billion naira palliative, 3,000 buses. The riders' FG plants wage increase, relief for MSMEs. Others resumes talks with NLC today. NLC folds FG's reforms, legal slashes fares as protests rock or your ocean. And above the mass head, Senate, Senate screens 14 tackles nominees over age tax. External reserves shed $167 million as Naira slumps further. Tinubu decorate service chiefs generals pledge loyalty. Uh, same story you'll find, um, you know, running right through the papers. Well, however, one, one story here that's catching my attention is the one on the Senate sc screening 14 tackles nominees over age and tax. What we do here... So, um, I'm looking at the, uh, the Nigerian Tribune next. That's the next paper that we are taking a look at. And on the front page, you have national broadcast. Salary review coming. 125 billion naira to energize MSMEs according to Tinubu, approves buses for tertiary institutions, removes restriction on student loans, Samulu okays 50% fare reduction in BRT ride and water transportation. And then you have, uh, you know, key points in the president's speech. You can take a look at that uh, later on. Mixed reactions trail Tinubu's address. Right, I think I'm done with the front page of the Daily okay, Sun. Okay, so, so, um, so maybe we uh, quickly take a look at the Daily Trust. The Daily Trust newspaper, Labour Falls Tinubu's broadcast, insists on tomorrow's protest. 
will intervene on our policies if necessary, says President, announces 200 billion naira for agri interventions. Uh, I'll, I'll take one more rider. Uh, one, uh, 75 billion naira to strengthen manufacturing sector. All right, so, uh, so those are some of the riders. You can get the details of that story on page 4 and page 26. All right, uh, what other stories there? Scramble for APC's vacant positions intensifies as NEC meets tomorrow. All right, we've got other stories at the very top of the Daily Trust, uh, right beneath the masthead. Wiki, Kiari, five others take bow as Senate screens 14 nominees. Super Falcons to earn 46 million Naira each for picking World Cup round of 16 tickets. And then Saudi Airline resumes full services, launches new aircraft in Kano. We've got several other stories in today's Daily Trust. Let's go to the Guardian newspaper. Very interesting read on the front page of that paper. The screamer there says Tinubu justifies reforms, unveils 500 billion naira package to ease pains. Page six. And then, of course, there's a very interesting picture there. Uh, Tinubu presidency roads to 100 days. And that's our last call on this uh, segment, the newspaper review segment for this time. I think we we'll probably going on a break. Yes, we do. So let's go for a very quick break and return shortly with so much more. Stay. <laughs> 